Good morning, interweb. Let's world build. We world builders spend a great deal of time crafting unique and interesting settings, but rarely do we take the time to consider time. Years, months, weeks, days, hours, minutes, seconds, we almost always ignore calendar building. And for good reason too, calendars are messy, leading many a world builder to champion the earth but easier approach. Take earth, get rid of the messiness, and make everything neatly divisible. We can do something a little more interesting here. So here's my demo system. Let's make a whole bunch of calendars for it, starting with the solar calendar. Most modern calendars, including our Gregorian calendar, are solar calendars. Calendars whose dates indicate the position of a planet on its revolution around a star. Their major pro is that these calendars fix dates and seasons. Star Wars Day, for example, will always fall on the 4th of May, which will always be in summer. This seems obvious, but other calendar types don't have this feature. The major downside of solar calendars is that they functionally ignore the moon. But many solar calendars insist on taking inspiration from the moon, which just complicates things. Given their link to the seasons, expect agrarian cultures in the temperate regions of your planet to adopt solar calendars as a means of planning their yearly agricultural activities. So our year is 271.1307 Earth days long. A super awkward number. Wouldn't it be great if it just happened to be a whole number instead? No messiness? We could just change it, but that would alter the astronomical facts of the universes we've created thus far. So here's an idea. How about we vary the rotation rate of our planet about its axis, i.e. its day length, such that a whole number of local days occur in the year. Spreadsheet time! Inputting our planet's orbital period here and the lunar period here populates the spreadsheet. So all we gotta do is choose a local year that suits. So if we want a 271 local day year, all we have to do is set the local day to 24.0115749.1 Earth hours and make it so. That easy. And there's only one rule here. For habitable Earth-like planets, the rotation rate needs to be between 2 to 3 and 96 Earth hours. So like just by varying the length of a day, this planet's year could be anything from about 68 local days up to 3,250 local days, all without actually changing the planet's orbit. Imagine how cool it would be to live on a planet with a 2 hour day, or a 96 hour day. Actually, it would suck. The further we stray from Earth-like spins, the more extreme the weather and temperature swings will become. So try to keep everything relatively Earth-like. Anyways, real planets aren't this perfect, so let's reintroduce the concept of calendar drift, i.e. leap days, except in a manner that's under our control. Let's say we'd like a leap year every two years, every five years, every ten. Simply add this value onto here, and the local day will adjust to compensate. So now we can say with absolute certainty that our year will be 271 local days long, except once in every ten, when it'll be 272. And as such, its day needs to be 24.0027178 Earth hours long. We'll iron out this fella in a bit. Right now, let's make some months and weeks, shall we? Locals on our planet will notice 8 to 9 lunar cycles per year, so it will be easy to imagine their calendars being 8 or 9 months long. Remember, solar calendars don't track the moon, but they are often inspired by it. That is to say, over time, the month won't sync up with the lunar cycle. Kinda like what's happened to the Gregorian calendar with its vaguely lunar month-like months that aren't actually months. That said, let's go with 8, shall we? So 271 divided by 8 is 33 plus change. 8 33 day months amounts to 264 days, leaving us 7 days short of a full year. How we go about accounting for these 7 days can add some seriously cool flavour to our calendars. Like the Gregorian calendar, we could have uneven months, say 2 months of 35, 3 months of 34, and the remaining get 33. Perhaps each month is linked to a deity, and the length of the month is directly proportional to the standing of its associated deity in our culture's pantheon. Alternatively, if we wanted to keep the months of equal length, we could make these intercalary days, that is, days that exist outside any given month. Think December 24th, Christmas, December 25th. 
maybe the seven most significant holidays in our year will occur as intercalary days. We can embed these days wherever suits, but maybe we could bunch them all into one special monthless seven-day period. Kind of like the ancient Mayans did, for example. If this special monthless period occurred in winter, perhaps it could be a period of mourning and ill omen. Because, you know, winter and death and all that jazz. If it occurred in spring, it could be a seven day long festival of life and new beginnings. Where we place this period could tell us a lot about our culture's worldview. And every 10 years, we can just dump that leap day into this period without upsetting our lovely equal month structure. So yeah, let's do that. As for weeks, again, we can look to the moon. A lunar month is roughly 32 days on our world. So dividing by four, we get a week length of eight days, one week per moon phase, ish. 33 eight day weeks gives us 264 again, so we'll need one seven day week thrown in there to make up the difference. Which will leave us with something like this. Which works fine, but it's very Gregorian. And it always seemed weird to me that months could start in the middle of the week. So how about instead of looking to the moon for inspiration, let's look to the medieval calendar. In Europe in the Middle Ages, the month was divided into three asymmetrical periods, defined by three important dates. Calends, Nones and Ides. Calends was the first day of the month, Ides fell in the midpoint of the month, and Nones fell on the ninth day before the Ides. And people would count the days backwards from these markers. The tenth day of November, for example, was referred to as the fourth day before the Ides of November. Which is kinda cool, and a reminder that counting upwards isn't a universal law. So I'll do something like this and say that the 1st, 9th and 21st are my important dates, from which all other dates will be counted. FYI, I'm using the golden ratio here to get these dates just because I can. And boom! Calendar done. Well, kinda, we still gotta talk hours, minutes and seconds. There's a couple of neat things we can do here, which we'll cover in the next few videos, but for now, this day length seems comically complicated. But remember, the locals on our planet won't view things in terms of Earth. They'll see it as a single unit of time, and they'll divide it up as they see fit. Side note, it's worth thinking about how a culture reckons time. Like, does the day start at sunset, midnight, sunrise, noon, or like something else entirely, and why? Anyways, pro tip, whenever your day is super close to an Earth day, just have the locals split it up exactly as we do. 24 hours, 60 minutes, 60 seconds. Simply redefine these words and don't tell anyone about it. Last thing we want is for our readers to have to sift through a ton of strange words or jarring numbers or have them do mental arithmetic as they consume our works. Hide the complications away in your calculations and keep things familiar and accessible. It won't be until you come to publish your version of the Silmarillion that the world will notice how badass your building chops actually are. So yeah, 271 local days in a year, 8 33 day months plus a 7 day special period, a leap year every 10 years, 3 asymmetrical weeks of 8, 12 and 13 days, 24 hours, 60 minutes, 60 seconds and 1 little secret. Shh. Good morning interweb. I have two points. Point number one, the new intro is based on a design by this channel called Softbox Presets. Links in the do we do go check them out. Point number two, the spreadsheets I was using in this video are also in the do we do so you can go download them and use them to create your own calendars. It has been so long since the last Artifexian video and I missed making these videos so so much and I miss talking to you guys so I genuinely can't wait to see y'all in the comments. Click the links on screen or in the description for more artifacting content like and if you think I earned it hit the subscribe button. Thank you all so much for watching. Edgar out.